Paramedics and first responders deliver a critical value to the community, but the work can be hard, long, and it has its downsides. In this video, we are gonna be talking with Cody Bryant, who went from being a paramedic to being a cybersecurity professional. Specifically, we're gonna talk about why he wanted to make that transition into cybersecurity, what challenges he encountered on his career journey transformation, what transferable skills from his time as a paramedic and first responder that were directly applicable into a cybersecurity career, and what lessons learned Cody picked up along the way so you can learn from him. Let's get into it. Hey, Cody, how you doing, man? I'm pretty well. How about yourself? Love it. Love it. I'm doing great. So, Cody, as a paramedic turned cybersecurity professional, tell me, why did you want to move into cybersecurity? So I really liked being a paramedic, right? So I enjoyed the job, but so after spending about five years in the field, I had kids and working as a paramedic, uh, where I worked, I actually worked 24 hour shifts. That was hard not being home with kids every night and stuff like that. Sometimes due to short staffing and stuff like that, we would have to work 48 hour shifts. So having to sleep at the station for two nights, you know, and not be home with the kids. Um, my daughter started to, to notice and be like, hey, daddy, I wish you were home more, stuff like that. I would miss holidays. After about five years, I had worked my way up as a, as a supervisor and I knew there wasn't much further up to go from there. So mm -hmm. I started looking at other other professions and stuff like that. And I had always had an affinity for working with technology. And it's something I really enjoyed uh, to the point where I was kind of the, the station IT guy unofficially. Anytime they had issues, they would come to me and I'd help them fix it. I decided that I, would want, I wanted to transition out of EMS to have more time with family and to have more professional growth. So career growth opportunities and a, a more a more stable schedule, definitely admirable uh, traits to want to seek cyber. And then I guess because of the technology, I mean, did you not think IT and, and you thought cybersecurity? Like what, what, what kind of cued you in on cybersecurity specifically? When I started looking at how I was going to transition into another field, I looked at what I could do. And when you go to another this field or anything like that, you, you need a college degree, right? So mm -hmm. I thought, well, maybe that's the path I need to take. So I started looking at degrees, found an online degree for IT uh, with a focus in security. So mm -hmm. I always kind of had an interest in pen testing and hacking and stuff like that. You know, I wanted to be the cool super hacker man and stuff like that. When I got into that degree program, I started taking more security classes and just kind of fell in love with, with the security side of the field mm -hmm. versus versus it in general oh and... yeah preach i i love the cyber side of things man <laughs> absolutely yeah. what 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 type of challenges did you face right out the gate and in, in making in successfully making that transition to getting the cyber job after graduation and i waited till after graduation and now looking back i'll talk about this in lesson learned but i kind of wish i wouldn't have wouldn't have waited until after graduation but i waited till i graduated i finished my bachelor's degree program and then I put in probably 100 job applications. I got maybe five callbacks, mm -hmm. if that. And it was always, well, you look good on paper, but you don't have any real experience. You know, you're mm -hmm. coming from another field and we're looking for somebody that, especially looking for entry level cyber positions, they all wanted experience in IT or, you know, something kind of like that. Mm -hmm. And I was coming from a totally different field in medicine. So that was one of the, the obstacles I faced. And then studying was another one. I was work, still working a full-time job, sometimes 24, 48 hours. So that was that was an obstacle too, just staying, staying dedicated with everything else going on. Yeah, conviction is a real thing. Even after you get the job, having to stay stay up to date and current on, on trends and stuff like that is absolutely... Uh, but I guess it almost prepared you uh, for that. What, what kind of skills come from a paramedic background that are transferable and applicable to a, a cybersecurity role? So I feel like there's actually quite a few, um, but one of the main things would be soft skills because we, in communication specifically, because we communicate with patients um, on a daily basis as a paramedic. And then you also communicate with physicians, nursing, just a large variety of people. Um, and you learn to kind of pick up on on cues and, you know, better communicate with people. And then in that sense, one of the things that's hard for IT and cyber professionals sometimes is trying to explain something technical 
to people who don't have a technical background. At NEMS, we would sometimes have to explain like treatment procedures and, and stuff like that to um, to patients who or family members who didn't have that medical background like we did. So we would have to find a way to connect those dots for them. And I feel like that's kind of the same way with technology. You know, we work well in high stress environments. So stuff like DFIR and, and stuff like that could be good for us, mm -hmm. but we're used to you know, triaging and in high stress environments that we have to remain cool and collected while, you know, the world's falling apart around us and stuff. Yeah, that really is an interesting uh, correlation. It's almost like paramedic is like human incident response, right? Like mm. you're, you're, you're directly responding to a, 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 you know, a very serious incident. Uh, that is interesting. I didn't even think of that, but yeah, that, that really is almost a one-to-one -one, uh, where instead of a person, it's a business, right? Or a system. Right that you're handling that's 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 really cool so what type of lessons learned have you picked up what would you go back and tell cody on day one of paramedic i'm going to go be a cyber person now what would you tell them in order to either make it faster make it cheaper make it more effective i would probably tell me to pump the brakes on the degree thing and think about it before going into it not that i so if i had to do it over i probably would still do my degree because it's opened some doors that probably wouldn't have, mm -hmm. but I definitely would have started something like hack the box, try hack me um, from day one. I would probably start uh, start a blog for those and document like the walkthroughs of the boxes and how that way, you know, cause anybody can say, well, you know, I done this. Well, give them, give them some proof that they, that you'd done that. I would also, and I, I did end up doing this throughout my journey, but I would build a home lab from mm -hmm very early on and get in there and start labbing and that would also document what i did in my lab and have a network diagrams and stuff like that of what i've done and how everything flows together yeah and i wouldn't have waited until i finished my degree to start looking for a job when i kept looking at job postings i kept seeing you know must have bachelor's degree must have 15 years experience for entry level position and all this stuff and i got discouraged and thought well i need to finish my degree before i uh before i try to find a position in cyber um but what i would do now if i had it to do over again i would go out and find that help desk job you know i know it may not be what what we want or where we want to be but i would go out and find that help desk job that way i'm getting exposure to the technology and stuff like that because unfortunately a lot of times you going into cyber you probably have to transition from you may have to take a step in it and then move over to cyber because that's that's what i ended up doing is i got like i like i said i put in probably 100 job applications didn't get many callbacks but what and i was applying for cyber roles all the time and then i started looking for help desk roles after i had some people tell me well you need to show that you have this knowledge you know mm -hmm. uh, base level knowledge of networking and how systems work and stuff like that i feel like i got lucky and the hospital service ambulance service that i was working for at the time actually had a posting for an it tech at the hospital so i applied for that position and that's how i was able to to get the it experience and then later i transitioned over to cyber from that oh that's brilliant that's brilliant how 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 effective or unimportant was uh, professional networking, social networking in your success of pivoting into cyber? So it actually it turned out to be very successful because the position that I got, because of who, who I knew at the facility, I was mm -hmm. able to, you know, make connect because I already knew them. No, I mean, it demonstrates that having a network and having networked with people led you to an to know about an opportunity and you'd already, right. you'd already kind of uh, established who you were, what your professionalism was and your ability to execute and made it a, a no brainer to hire you. So did uh, did you do any networking within like the cybersecurity community or was it more in just the healthcare community? Well, I tried to do some in the cyber community because um, mm -hmm. I set up my LinkedIn and tried to get out there and put myself out there and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm not good at stuff like that. So it mm -hmm. was kind of kind of hard for me to overcome. Um, so I ended up doing it more face to face with people here instead of you know, on LinkedIn and stuff like that. Okay, so in person type stuff, like meetups and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Cool. So the current security job you have, did that result from having known someone, or was that what you were talking about before? Uh, so the current security job I have resulted from 
yeah, I guess he would say it, it resulted from having known someone because it's still at the same facility that I was at when I got that, that uh, help desk position. Mm -hmm. um, and just being in and, and, you know, establishing a need for that role is, mm -hmm. is how I ended up where I'm at. Okay, cool. Another great opportunity to network if you want is to join the Simply Cyber Discord server, which I'll put a link in the description below. Cody, I don't know if you're a member of the Simply Cyber Discord server. I am. Oh, perfect. Yeah, it's a lot of great networking, a lot of supportive, inclusive uh, community people in the cybersecurity community or looking to break in. So if you're a paramedic or a first responder and you're looking to make this transition just like Cody did, uh, come join us over there and uh, you know get some, get some help, get some networking and, and really take advantage of it. Thanks so much for sharing your story, Cody. And no problem.